going on guys so in today's episode of in the details we're going to be taking a look at mcguire's hot rims wheel and tire cleaner now as you can see i have used some of this already uh, but the day when i used it it was actually raining outside so i wasn't able to get a true feel for what this product is capable of now what makes this tire and wheel cleaner different than some of the ones i've used in the past is that it tells you to rinse the wheel first with water clean one wheel at a time obviously but a lot of uh, wheel cleaners out there that I've used at least in the past tell you to let the wheel cool down this one tells you to rinse it with water first and then spray on so if you typically go to a car wash to wash your car this may be a product that you're interested in because you're not gonna have to wait for the wheel to cool down before applying it so let's go ahead and give it a shot and see how it performs now as you can see there's quite a bit of dirt brake dust on this wheel in particular so I just parked it probably about 15 minutes ago so the wheels are actually still pretty warm and I'm gonna use a generous amount just to make sure that I get complete coverage uh, the instructions say not to let it sit for more than 30 seconds so we're just going to rinse it thoroughly with water and dry the wheel with a clean towel or premium microfiber all right so that's been about 30 seconds if not longer so I'm just gonna go ahead and i'm not too concerned with the tires cleaning that but you know if you want you can spray it on the tires and the wheel at the same time if you want and i'll probably I'll probably do it on the front wheel just so you guys can see what it looks like. Alright, so all I did was basically follow the instructions, spray it up there, let it sit for about 30 seconds, and then sprayed it off. And it looks to have done a pretty good job. I'm about to go ahead and dry it off with a towel. Alright, so I'm going to use this towel to dry the wheel with. And even though it has a few stains on it, it has been washed, so it is clean. So let's go ahead and dry the wheel. See how much more dirt comes off. You're doing a good job. I'm trying, thanks. You're welcome. All right, so that wheel came out pretty good. Um, it did, there wasn't a lot of uh, dirt that came off on the towel so the cleaner did a pretty good job at getting it off of there with just spraying and rinsing off all right so now we're going to move to the front and i'm going to spray it on the tire and the wheel this time to see if we can get some of the uh tire shine to come off so let's see how this works all right so again we're just gonna rinse the wheel and tire And then come behind it with the spray. Typically the front wheel is going to have more brake dust on it. So I'm concentrating the spray a little bit more inside of the wheel to try to get the majority of that brake dust off of there. And you do have to spray this on pretty liberally. Maybe not as much as I'm doing. I like to go a little overboard with it, but <laughs> it's just what I do. All right, so now we're going to let it sit for no more than 30 seconds and then go ahead and spray it off. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and hit it and I can actually see it stripping off the uh, tire shine there. So let's go ahead and spray it down and see how much of this comes off. I'm really interested in, like I said, the inner wheel to see how much of that brake dust is going to be able to get off of there. That's the biggest pain in the neck, having to reach inside the wheel, like especially you guys with the performance pack wheels. There's virtually no hand room. I mean, at least on these CDC Outlaws, I can get fit my hand inside of there to kind of wipe it down when necessary. But if you have wheels that are more closed off, you're definitely going to want to use a spray that gets as much of that brake dust off as possible. 
All right, so I mean, it did a really good job of cleaning the face of the wheel off, I have to say. Um, let's go ahead and go inside of the wheel. Let's see how much is coming off. The part where the brake dust sticks the most. Still some brake dust in there. I mean, applying this uh, spray a couple of more times may end up getting it off. But overall, you know, I'd say it's worth giving it a shot. Especially if you, like I said, tend to use car washes because you're not gonna have to wait for the wheel to cool down. But anyways, I just wanted to show this to you guys real quick. If you're interested, it's called McGuire's Hot Rims Wheel and Tire Cleaner. Uh, safe on clear coated wheels, extreme clean grabs and dissolves brake dust and grime. So I actually came across this product in Walmart. It's not something that I was intentionally going there to buy. I just happened to walk down the car aisle and said, hey, I need some, some rim cleaner. So I decided to give it a shot and it works out well. So you guys can leave a comment in the comment section letting me know if you have a wheel cleaner that you think may work better. I'm always open to trying new things and that's really what this series in the details is about. So until next time, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support and see you next time. Mm -hmm.